I'm Ed O'Keefe in Washington, and this week on Face the Nation, as the legal troubles for former President Trump and some of his key allies mount, his grip on the Republican Party tightens, leading up to the midterm elections. In the newest installment of this late summer drama, the judge who authorized that search warrant giving the FBI permission to seize classified materials from Mr. Trump's home in Mar-a-Lago now says he's inclined to make public some of the information in the affidavit justifying it. Despite the Justice Department's objection to releasing any of it, they're working on redactions. We'll talk with the top Republican on the House Intelligence Committee, Mike Turner. He's one of many lawmakers who want to know more about those documents. Then we'll try to decipher the legal challenges in at least 13 federal, state, and congressional investigations and lawsuits involving the former president. And it's back to school time. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona will talk about the challenges facing our nation's school children, including teacher shortages across the country and learning setbacks due to COVID. Plus, former White House Coronavirus Response Coordinator Dr. Deborah Birx returns to weigh in on the proposed changes at the CDC. Moving on to the midterm elections, as President Biden signs that bill that fights climate change, cuts health care costs, and raises taxes on corporations, yeah. Democrats hope to run with that victory towards the finish line in November. We've not wavered, we've not flinched, and we've not given in. Instead, we're delivering results for the American people. Will voters see it that way? Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell has a reality check. There's a, probably a greater likelihood the House flips than the Senate. Senate races are just different. They're statewide. Uh, candidate quality has a lot to do with the outcome. We'll take a look at why he's saying that with our political panel. It's all just ahead on Face the Nation. Good morning and welcome to Face the Nation. I'm Ed O'Keefe. We'll see Margaret in a moment, but I'm helping her out today as she's dealing with a situation that's all too familiar for every parent, caring for a sick child. On this late summer morning, Americans are looking ahead to the fall. Kids are going back to school and the politics leading into the midterm elections are heating up. We'll get to that in a moment, but we begin with Margaret's interview with Education Secretary Miguel Cardona. She spoke to him earlier. 